What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another MTG Arena Cube. I guess it's just called MTG Arena Cube. I don't know if it has a name. Will YouTube just see open that pack but not actually see the card? Yeah. Yeah, I hope they're like, what did you get? And I'm going to be like, don't worry about it, man. Not important. Let's see what we're taking here. I do like a Crocs. Oh, Glorybringer seems like a banana banger. <laughs> Nobody knows what that is. I'm going to take Glorybringer. It doesn't commit us to two colors here. It's very good. John, always good to see you, buddy. I appreciate you, my dude. Yeah, I'm going to take Glory Bee. Sweet Glory Bees. Shia is pretty sweet. I like Chromatic Light. Maze Mind Tome seems like a pretty sweet one. Man, Maze Mind Tome is cool. Shia is alright. I don't know if I care about this card that much. It's a literally... It's, it's, it's alright. I kind of just like Maze Mind Tome. It doesn't commit us to a second color. I'm going to take Maze Mind Tome. Oh, Chandra seems fantastic. Plus one to, to shock something. You discard your hand and get three freebies. Yeah, we're taking that Chandra. Nothing else in this pack looks even remotely close to this Chandra. Back for more is great. But, I mean, again, literal no incentive to, to switch colors here. I really like this Sphinx's Relation art. <laughs> I hope they kind of, I kind of hope they print it with that art at some point. Do I like dual caster mage here? Hmm. 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 Vrask is good too, but three colors. Three colors actually, I think the fixing in this cube is actually pretty decent. Banana banger bonkers? I've never heard of such a thing. We could also take Hedron Archive. Well, yes, if Dual Caster Mage could not copy opponent spells, I think it would actually be Trash. Trash? Trash. I was reading Try for Vraska, and I was going to say Traska. I'll I think it's I think Vraska's good. And then we get Overgrown Tomb, so it's almost perfect. Oh, Dragon Master Outcast, though, is a banana banger as well. That guy is a little phenomenal guy. Yeah, I'm taking this. If they don't have an answer to this guy, dude... And I'm not super committed to this Vraska, so. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell. Bag of Holding. Is there a five color archetype? That's interesting. Maybe we take this Rawgrin Triome. Or this Lava Glide Pathway. I'm just going to take the Triome here. Siege Gang is great, but I'll take Siege Gang. <laughs> I'll take the good red card instead of the Tri-Land. Hmm. So this is interesting. This pack's not very good. We don't have any way to sacrifice things, do we? Sacrifice a creature? Not really. Um, I 
So our only sideboard is like Vraska and Savage Stomp, so we are kind of Jundy. I'm pretty sure Pact of Negation was in Jumpstart, was it not? Oh no, uh, was it in Kaladesh Remastered? I have no idea. What, uh, Almond Cat, rather? It was in Almond Cat Remastered. Yeah, because it was one of the... It was one of the... I'll take Perilous, whatever. Like, this pack is not super great. Um, It was one of the invocations. Hmm. I actually think Mouth of Eat is pretty sweet. So is Elvish Rejuvenator, especially with all these five drops. I'll take an Elvish Rejuvenator. Uh, Elysian Carry Added seems fine. Oh, Once Upon a Time came back? That's interesting. I don't think we have anything that really takes advantage of Wilderness Wreck here. He drew an archive I was kind of hoping came back, actually. Oh, Finale? Sure. Alright, I guess we're just red-green here. Finale seems decent with, like, Hedron Archive, Elysian Dryad, Elvish Rejuvenator. Almond Cat Remastered really added a lot to the queue. The queue? Good times never been so good. Oh, the other Chandra? Oh, baby. I also really like Wayward Swordtooth, and I think there's a chance that that guy comes back, or Rada Air Heart of Keld comes back. But yeah, we're just taking this format of Chandra, because it's a, it's a banana banger. That's just our new thing now. Oh, Red Greenland? <laughs> sure, I'll take that. A Braid seems good, too. I'm going to take the Red Greenland. Good old Crag, Crag Crown Pathway. You can put it in the main deck. That's fine. Archeron to tribal theme. Yeah. Oh, a Ketria Triome is nice. That is three of our colors. So is Tangled Florahedron. Unfortunately, we didn't get to trigger which of the Moors once in our last our last draft. I want to take the Florahedron. I think being able to ramp to three is a little more important than fixing in our two-color deck so far. Oh, I like Rekindled Phoenix. I also like Karn here. I think Nessie and Hornbill is also pretty decent. Scorching, these two are both fine. I think it's, I think it's definitely Rekindling Phoenix. Dragonfire? Interesting. I mean, we have Glorbringer that kills things, Siege Gang that deals two, Chandra deals two, Chandra deals four. I don't think we're short of, like, ways to deal damage. Draw cards equal to the greatest power among non-human creatures you control or overrun. This card is great. I think Escape to the Wilds is even better. I'm going to take Escape to the Wilds. I mean, this card was banned in standard, right? That's got to count for something. Overwhelming Splendor. Easy peasy. 
Let's take Shield Breaker. That guy's nice to have. I'll probably sideboard that guy, but... He's not as main deckable as I'd like. Sweet Michael Bees. Isn't our curve a bit high? No, I think escape is always great. I mean, you're talking about a standard card that was literally in a deck with, like, numerous Genesis Ultimatums and Ugins. Like, you don't have to have a... You don't have to have a low curve for it to be good. Like, you're playing a second land that turn, which gives you four cards. Assuming you play another land, you have three cards. Even if you play one or two of those cards, you're still fine. Like, you don't need to play all five cards. Uh, Kazool, Kazool's, Kazool's Fury seems pretty good. And if you're interested on why you don't need to play all five cards, definitely check out my article from last week on Cool Stuff Inc. called Magic Misconceptions and Missteps. About how just because you can't utilize every single aspect of a card, uh, doesn't make that card bad. Ketria Triome, for example, just because I can't tap it for blue, doesn't mean it's not what we're looking for. Both of these let us play a second land. No. I think this is actually better than the Sword Tooth here. Oh man, Domri's Ambush came back? That's pretty sweet. Oh, Ketria Triome came back? Or do we want the Vastwood Surge? Ooh, Vastwood Surge for four, searching for two basics. Oh, I don't know. See how I plugged your article? <laughs> Xanatos, I appreciate it, buddy. You really set me up there. What did I take? What did it just take? Oh, it took the Triome. Thank, thank goodness. I want to take it into the Royal. Yeah, if you guys are if you guys are interested in checking it out, you can do so at the following link. And uh, give it a, go go give it a comment. Give it a comment. Say what's up. Tell me what you think. Show me who you're working with. Into the royal. Okay, what do we got here? I like Jade Light Ranger, a good deal. This guy's just a four, five, or six that is a land as well. Oh, it's working for me again. Wait, what is? It's Twitch bugging out. Uh. Elk Tears, I do. I am both enjoying the, the this iteration of the cube and I'm enjoying Best of Three. I'll take Jade Light Ranger. Yeah, there's nothing even close in that pack. Oh, Tender Shoot Dryad. Not only are Tender Shoots some of the favorite some of my favorite things to add to, to salads, it's also one of my favorite dryads. You know what I mean? BO1 Ken SMD, bro. S M D. It's nuts. Is Tender Shoe Dryad as good in this format as it would be in a different format? We have a lot of five drops here. I think it's still good. It's got to be better than the other card. Oh, Hornet Queen! Look at this Hornet Queen art! It's got to be Hornet Queen. Also, we have like Elysian Carriata, Tangled Floor Hedron. We have uh, uh, Perilous Mirror is actually trash now. Rejuvenator, Hedron. Rylus is played from the top of the deck. Uh, explore? Eh, I don't really care about Explore. Spring isn't great since we're very unlikely to be minding here. I think we're just taking Rex Sage for the board. You guys know I love a Rex Sage. Ooh. Ooh, this is a good Vivian. How's our four drop looking? Three? Yeah, I think it's this Vivian. I, I think Gem Razor is the same as like we already have Rex Sage and Embreath Shieldbreaker. I think we just take this I've Vivian. An She's very good. I will survive you. Dryad. I do like Dryad. I also like Castle Garen Brig, but it's not really gonna help us that much. <sighs> Like, it casts Tender Shoot 
No, it doesn't even cast Tender Shoot early. It casts Hornet Queen one turn early. That's pretty much it. I think we're just taking Dryad here. Dryad and Rod is a pretty decent combo because they let you play lands from the top of the deck. It's, it's, it's like a build your own Oracle of Moldaya. I'll take another five drop, sure. I do like a Kogla. A nice Coca Kogla. <laughs> oh god, he made himself laugh. It's terrible. Primal White's also decent. I'm, but, like, I mean, like, they're both doing the same thing, right? Like, Kogla's actually fighting something. Probably never dying uh, to that thing that it fights. Guys, you want to see a sweet Kaldheim spoiler that we that we just saw? Let's see what it is. Showdown of the Scalds. Four mana for a Saga. Comes into play, exile the top four cards of your library until the end of your next turn you may play those cards. Okay, so you get like a free land maybe. Some cheap spells possibly. Depending on what you build your deck out of. Okay, is it Ram Through, or is it a Coom Warrior? I think it's a Coom Warrior. It's just a free card, right? Like, we can actually play 18 lands with, like, two, because we have Kazul's Fury and a Coom Warrior now. Savai Triome, you are not overlooking for. Wolf Full of Haven, though. I could see playing a Wolf Full of Haven. Brontodon? Sure. It's number three of that effect. Which is nice, I'm not going to complain about having more of that, so... And then we got uh, the second second stage. Whenever you cast a spell this turn, put a 1-1 counter on target creature. And that's for the next two. That's not bad. Anyone have a link to that spoiler? I don't know. Just Google it. Just Google Showdown of the Scalds. Um, yeah, I'll take Anguius. Angurious. So at some point in this in the format, you got to live the dream of having a deck with Torrential Gear Hulk and Sublime Epiphany. Gear Hulk into Flashback, Sublime into countering a spell, copying Gear Hulk, bouncing original Gear Hulk, then casting another card draw, or removal spell with the copied Gear Hulk. Can you? What's the order on? Uh, I guess we'll take Garenbrig because it's just fine. Yeah. All right. What's the order on Sublime Epiphany? Can you do that if you bounce your own Sublime? If you bounce your own uh, Gear Hulk, do you still get to copy it? Because as it's resolving, it wouldn't be in play, right? Because you usually go in order, right? You'd counter the spell, counter an activated triggered ability, return a non-land permanent to its owner's hand, bounce the Gear Hulk, create a token that's a copy of target creature you control. It's no longer legal when it tries to resolve. But I guess once it's resolving, it's fine. Okay. So, this is 44 cards. We need four cuts. This is at the beginning of each upkeep. Like, this card is just unbeatable if they don't have an answer for it, right? Like, I'm not crazy. I think we can take out Siege Gang. Siege Gang feels like a worse Tender Shoot Dryad. Um, this is also a land, and this is a land. So we can easily cut one. We have seven, eight, nine. So this should be 16 lands plus two two double face cards, right? Yeah, okay. So that's I think that's good. Uh, we are going to not use these shitty lands. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Oh, wow, Florahedron's a land, too, actually. Good gravy. Good gravy. So do we just, do we just play, like, 15 regular lands and three double-sided lands? Is that going to mess up the Shuffler? Because we also have, like, we have Elvish Rejuvenator, we have Hedron Archive, we have uh, Elysian Carry Added, Explore. Like, this is 18 mana sources in the deck. I want to say lands. Like, this is a mana source, but, like, 18 lands in the deck. Like, it legitimately is 18 lands. These are lands. I think Virgil's Gear Hulk's really just very strong. Like, even if it's just an 8 8.
Plus we have Wolfalo Haven. I think we take out Explorer. Okay, yeah, we hit, now we have Elysian Grove, Wolfalo Haven. Yeah, this seems good. I like this a lot. How do I get further over there? Is there a oh there's a scroll bar down here? How nice. So this is what? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten red sources, and one, two, three, seven, eight. Is that right? That doesn't seem right. Okay, these are both. Oh god. There's a part of me that wishes sometimes when you can scroll over stuff and it doesn't doesn't do this because it's really hard to read things. So this is six, seven, eight, nine, ten versus six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Is it 10 10? Yeah, this looks like 10 10. That seems fine. Alright. Let's do it. Okay, so this is actually fine. This is two lands. I'm okay with this. Oh, Brett with the gifted subs. Buddy, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it, my dude. Thank you, buddy. It's a Christmas miracle. You're too pure for this world, Brett. Thank you. Um, all right, so we're going to play this. We're going to play Outcast. I wish, I, I hope we can draw a three drop, like a, like a Rata. Or a, a Dryad would be nice. We can play the second land as well. That'd be cool. Having Dragon Master Outcast against the blue-green deck seems safe. This is where, like, red mana. Oh, no, they're just... Looks like they're hard into the, into the blue-green paint, as they say. Oh my. We got a lot of three drops. That's not one of them. Well, Midnight Clock is a thing. They gotta do something, right? What'd they do? Oh, they just made a 3-3? Three, three? Oh, that's totally fine. Hmm. Is it Chandra kill the turtle? Then Chandra dies. I feel like once we get to Glorybringer slash Hedron slash Hornet Queen territory... We're probably fine. So our options here are Hedron Archive, which I think is fine. I mean, we could we could also Chandra and plus her. Uh, she'll go to five, and they don't have lethal on board to kill her. And next turn, that gives us Hornet Queen mana. Uh, decline. <laughs> Which is kind of funny, because I actually didn't want to draw that really anyway, so.
Uh, yeah, no blocks. She'll go to one. Totally fine. I am a fat idiot. Me too. Wow. Wow, you guys are... Are they gonna pump? They got a pump spell? Oh, wow. Yep, that was pretty good. That was extremely good. That's really, really good. Today, Frankel Ramp 2. Count them, 2. Fat idiots. 1, 2, 3, 4. If we draw a land, we can actually go uh, Hedron Archive into Maze Mind Tome, which is pretty nice. We can also just Chandra and shoot this guy. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Although they bring it back. <laughs> oh man, that Carl Sagan emote is gas, dude. Okay, that is a land. Hmm. I really don't think Chandra is the ticket here. I think we're gonna go Hedronos Archivos. They're gonna counter my Hedron Archive? No, they're gonna counter this though. No, they didn't counter that either. Okie dokie. End of the turn. That is just fine. Let's draw a card. So we just gonna be queening? Thank you. So what is this deal? Oh my god, Brett with the gifted sub. I have no idea why Standard Beat was not subscribed. That seems wrong. But Brett, I appreciate you, buddy. Thank you for paying it forward. Even though that doesn't even make any sense because you've been the one doing the things and that's kind of the opposite of what paying for means, but... So hold on, this is four. This makes six. You can go seven. Then we have three mana left over. Four, five, six, seven. We're definitely killing this. We want we, they have they have feed, and I, I want to minimize the number of creatures that they're actually uh, getting back with a feed or, or the number of cards they're drawing rather. Well, they're definitely gonna be drawing some some cards here. Get real low. Yep, 
that is just fine. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, this is nice, though, because we can easily kill Vivian next turn. I got a new debit card from the bank and may need to sync up my various monthly... Typical story. It's unbelievable. We got a new debit card, though. My numbers aren't up to date. That's how you sound. Uh, we're definitely blocking because when this goes up, they just lose this guy, so... Sounds like bank shit to me. Yeah, get your bank shit out of here. Because they're going to have to shuffle their graveyard in. So that means they don't get access to their champion of wits, which is just fine. Yep. So that was a weird attack. We can also Chandra and plus one to just kill Vivian. I guess plusing one to deal with them too is just as good, right? Okay. This is just fine. They don't really get a turn. Yeah, we're just going to keep that on the library. That seems just too good to actually not keep on the library. Got it. My, my. How you've grown. How you've grown. You fat little beast. So we can go escape. We know we'll hit Vivian. So this is what? Four, five, six, seven. We have nine total mana. So we can go escape into Vivian. Ideally play two lands. Hey, I'm a fat little beast. <laughs> Buddy, that's the second time you've called yourself fat in this chat. I mean, this is going to gain us four once we once it pops off. So I'm okay with that. I mean, I'm probably just going to block here. Well, yeah, I know we're drawing Vivian for the turn. My point is we can still play it. That doesn't have anything to do with, like... I mean, it has Trample, so we're going to go to five, but... They're playing blue-green, right? What can, what's, what's the worst that can happen? Yeah, that's fine. That's not, that's, that's fine. That's not nearly as bad as I would have expected it to be. Yeah, I don't have to make for that. Okay, just making, I'm just like, am I crazy? Yeah, I'm definitely gonna do this now. Oh yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about. This is what I mean, like, one, two... Put it on here. Play this lady. With the arc bow at my side, I can't lose a fight. <laughs> Stump. 
Beeping time. Pizza time. I mean, don't forget, we also have Hedron Archive to draw two, Maze Mind Tome to draw two eventually. Uh, we have two creatures that all get plussed. So, I mean, like, we're actually doing pretty well. Right, like we drew three lands, a carry added, and the wolf, wolf Willow Haven. Like, right, we're not going to draw those one per turn now. So it's like, I mean, uh, like escape is just, I mean, the card was banned in standard, let's be clear. Dungeon Geist. Sure. I mean, we just kill this, right? We have Vivian, so. Oh. I'm uh, just gonna red here. Look at my tender foot. Oh my god, did we play the wrong land? We should have. Oh no, this guy was. Uh, we actually would have. I would have definitely played that guy if I knew he wasn't in my hand. But again, if that's the only thing you have, Magic Arena doesn't know how to like distinguish between the cards in your hand and the cards that are not in your hand and they're in this nebulous area. So. Okay. What's the next card you're gonna play? Or are you literally just playing this as a 2 1? There's no way. No way. They're gonna fight this? Mm, yeah, okay, that's fine. That's weird. So you just you just play this as a two drop and couldn't actually Okay. Okay. It's a lot of lands we got here, guys. Oh, Virgil's Gear Hulk on the top? Jesus. Watch. Yeah, I wonder if they thought it was like the next spell you cast, no matter what. I see. I think you're still like dead on board almost. Okay, that guy's fine. I'm pretty sure it was it was bounce tender shoot dryad. Not only does dryad have a counter on it, um, we'd have one creature in play. And we'd have to respend five on this. Now we're going to our turn with two creatures in play. And we don't have to spend any mana on this. So, like, I, I think 100% it was Tender Shoot Dryad. I know you're getting rid of this creature permanently, but I'm literally making up for that by having this in play on my upkeep. So, it just doesn't... Hulk do go brr. Um... And you got six. One, two, three, uh, you're not coming in, so... Three, 
for sure. Not even. <laughs> we got Kogla on top, which literally kills this, and like. So you're, you're literally dead, right? Okay. <laughs> it's like what? Oh, a weird block. All right. So we're definitely bringing in Rex Sage. I can see taking out Savage Stomp. Like their creatures aren't that impressive. No offense to their, no offense to their creatures, but. I also don't hate Gem Razor. It makes like Elysian carry added and Tangled Florahedron just significantly better in the late game. But we do have Kogla now. We have Rex Age. I think this is fine. More like tender shoot dyad. <laughs> Hulk do go burr. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, Brett. We have a good time. Um. Yeah, I'll keep this. I mean, it's a lot of lands, but it's also a dryad on turn. Uh, Dryad on turn three lets us play an extra land, so we're gonna keep Kazul's Fury in hand because that's just a that's just a damage spell at this point. Oh my god, what a great hit! I hope they packed him negation it. They didn't. Oh, look at this old guy! Look at this old chestnut. Well, that's pretty good. I think it's still Dryad because it ramps us right now. And so next turn we can go Jade Light Ranger, hit a, hit a few lands, or hit a land even, and then we have two lands to play for that turn as well. Any PS5 games you're considering streaming in the near future? Not really. The only... Um, so, so the problem is I'm not terribly interested in a lot of the launch titles. I'm more I'm more interested in streaming things like Cyberpunk or as I mentioned previously, I do want to play LA Noir all the way through. And I think cuz it's not super long, uh playing it on stream would actually be kind of fun. <clears throat> but yeah, neither of those are PS5 games as you guys know. Oh. Oh, big cogs. Um, oh God, I really have to keep this. Like, there's no world where I can justify getting rid of escape, right? We have a land for the turn. We have Domri's Ambush. Sure. We can also play Kazul's Fury as a land this turn. I don't think I want to ambush any of these creatures. I just don't think I care about them. Yeah, I'm just going to keep Maze Mind Tome up. I want to be able to I want to make sure we hit lands when we have the ability to play two a turn. Okay, they didn't do anything. Oof. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. 
sure. I mean, if they want to pack them negation this, that's totally fine. Oh yeah, I did update. The, the stream does... Uh, I, I actually changed the stream from 30 frames a second to 60 frames a second. You can feel that 60 frames a second smoothness on the arena animations. Glad to hear it. They have five mana up. I'm just going to plus and put some counters on these guys. Fit enough to survive. I still just want to draw a card here. Like, three, four, five. I don't think attacking here. Actually, if they want to double block here, that's totally fine. Yeah, that's good. They still take damage and... It's, I could see it not being noticeable on MTGO. What if I do this? Was that buttery smooth? Oh, we got a Kogla? Sounds good. Flawless. <laughs> Beautiful. So what is this? Okay, so what if we go one, two, three, four? This guy, activate this for six. Okay, so we can do this, right? Yeah, let's do it. Oh, they got packed. Rough. I thought you were in my room for a second. So lifelike. Okie dokie. That is unfortunate. I mean, it still sets us up for a really nice escape to the wilds turn. And we still, we still have the option of hitting, like, Rex Sage, which is good. Actually, I think I forgot about this. And I remember I remembered uh Midnight Clock and I was like, "Oh, well, that's got to Actually, now I'm going to I'm going to scry because I think getting rid of this as soon as possible is yeah, you can get rid of that. Is in our best interest. Okay. Okay. So we're going to go land land One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six mana. It's kind of play tapped. Dang. Six. I'm to just play this as a land here, because I don't think we're actually going to not play. I, think, I, don't think, I don't think we're playing this as a man. What if I do, if I do all attack, will it give me the option to exert? I don't actually know. Well, the Kogel we wanted because we want to get rid of this Immortal Sun. Like, I, you know, the Immortal Sun is literally shutting down our, our Vivian, and it's also drawing them two cards a turn, so. Are they just going to block? I don't understand. Killing them would get the Immortal Sun off the board. It's a fair point.
You got it. So they have three cards? It's not great. And we have like ten cards. Because we actually want as many lands as possible because we have Chandra here. So next time we can play Chandra. Um, yeah, this is actually fine. We're going to Domri's Ambush this. Oh, it's a 5-5. Five, five. Dang it. Oh, it doesn't fight. Domri's Ambush does not fight. They need a keyword for this. Pass the turn in the city. You're just, you're just going face. I'll take two. Also, we just have a lot of power on board as well, so it's not like we're... Okay. So, that's a lot of mana, right? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve mana. So, we can go this Chandra... And not, not use her ability. Well, that was not what I was... Not going to use this one's ability either. Alright. I may have forgotten about this literal twice. Good lord. What was I thinking? Wow, that was terrible. I was going to play this, use the mana to play this. Uh, plus one to kill this guy. How did I... Oh my god. I mean, I'd still rather play this than the than the Rejuvenating Elf because... Elvish Rejuvenator because, I mean, I think the upside on this if we draw Rex Sage is significantly higher. Um, getting Chandra out of our hand is fine because, you know... You know, it just is. <laughs> it's like, there's no reason to keep it in our hand. The problem is, like, in my head, I was like, oh, this is going to be good. And it was not as good. Soon it will be Christmas Day. I mean, I feel like they have... Yeah, that's fine. We have a bunch of cards on board, technically, so. Uh-huh. Did they just did they just always play this guy as like a as like a just a just a two one for two? Cause they have no mana floating. <laughs> okay, sure. I mean I don't know what else you're gonna do though. Twelve cards left in the library to eighteen cards. Okay. Okay, so they just fought twice, but it didn't do anything. Got it. Rex Age off the top is pretty nuts, right? And we have several tries. That guy's pretty good. Why did you tap this? Oh my god. That is the actual worst. Really? You're not going to use... I guess it doesn't matter. It's five mana, right? Wow, I, like this is, tapping this was just absolutely friggin' horrendous. <sighs> if that costs us the game, 
Daddy's gonna be real mad. Yep, that's fine. Your first spell each turn. Seems good. Okay, now that we've seen Lay Claim and a bunch of other nonsense, like... Uh, we're just bringing all the artifact and enchant removal. Yep, that's not gonna do it. Pretty sure we're dead here, but... Do I not have mana for that? You know what? Worth. No attacks. I like that we have three Planeswalkers here, and if we end up getting rid of Immortal Sun, they're all active, so that's pretty cool. Yep, that's pretty good. Civilization has crept too far. Tear it down. I don't know what oops means. Did they make a mistake? Oh, Vivian doesn't work because of their their own planeswalker, their own immortal sun. Seems good. Good one. Rex Sage off the top. It's kind of a Rex Sage, right? Still not a Rex Sage. Okay, okay, let's go to the next game. Yeah, so I feel like they basically won because of Immortal Sun and Lay Claim. I have three Planeswalkers on the board, so if we can actually deal with those things. Gem Razor, you can easily come in. Elvish Rejuvenator, you can GTFO. Brontodon is just a solid gentleman as well. I'm just going to submit like this. Shieldbreaker is all avail also available, but if they have lay claim, I really don't want to draw Shieldbreaker. I think I think having the versatility of only creatures that can c destroy either is good. 
had, I mean, like, had I not seen Lay Claim this match, I would have definitely just, just brought, I would have definitely brought in Shieldbreaker. Oh, what up, Unforgiven? I know they're taking their time here. Sage. Yeah, we'll keep this. I have to assume. Look at this. I got. You got a two drop to come down. Hit another. Oh, this is actually not a. Oh, dang it. Really want to draw an actual green source before this, so we can play this guy. How about a green source into a red source? Is that too much to ask? Not gonna play this yet. There's still a potential to actually being able to. Put it down. Okay, now we have to play it, unfortunately. Oh boy, we're really hoping to hit lands here. Oh, we did it. We are living the dream. Hope they play that stupid clock. No, just this stupid card. Oh, that's so good. I don't think we want Vivian. Vivian comes down, she goes to five, but then she takes three and does nothing. Yeah, we'll just do this guy. Three, four, five. If we hit a land, we'll have seven for Tender Shooty Boy. Too much of magic because I hope we draw a land. I hope we don't draw a land. It's definitely a big. It's definitely a big part of magic for sure. Wait, so we can actually play Kogla here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, let's do that. C -c -c Kogla! Look at me! I'm in Kogla! I mean, this is a seven-six against a blue-red, a blue-green deck. Like they can bounce it, but they can't fight it really here. They can't lay claim it because they don't have seven, and we have Rex Sage. If we get to drop a Vivian, one, two, three, four, five. Un unfortunate. Unfortunate. But, what can you do? Interesting. Don't pack of negation, me bro. They didn't. My heart beats in unison with the wild. You picked the wrong fight. And I'm not going to attack here. I really don't want. I don't want to lose Vivian. I mean, if they want to bounce this and then attack Vivian, that's fine. We get to replay Kogla. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If we go land tender shoot, we get the city's blessing, which is kind of cool.
We can also play Chandra and kill this, which I definitely think we're going to do. So we have three mana. I'm not going to just play Rex Sage here. Do I just attack for nine, though? Jeez. They can only kill one Planeswalker. Is it worth nine? <sighs> kind of? Not really, right? I mean, they if they have... Yeah, I, I'm gonna let them. I mean, like, I, I feel like they're gonna... I guess that they have Lay Claim over Exage, so I'm not super concerned with that, but they get to kill one Planeswalker, and that's fine. If they have um, Inscription, they can bounce it anyway, so, like, that doesn't necessarily save our Planeswalker. But, I mean, I feel like nine is enough to trade for one Planeswalker, so... I've seen too many species die already. Oh, yeah, that's totally fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Rudy, Tooty, Tender, Shooty. I should have done this first. Keep it. Keep this in mind, kids. Always, always plus your Chandra's first. Yep. Deal damage, alright. Well, now see, now Chandra is dead no matter what. They have one card. So they block, they attack Chandra, attack us. I don't think we're attacking here. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, wow, they did not actually... This will be easy. What do we got? One, two... Six green. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I feel like it's worth playing. They draw off of hydroid grasses. Interesting. All right. Yeah, I think we should have. Uh, so if we attacked, we definitely lose Chandra. Now we didn't lose Chandra. So as much as I want to get Thrag Tusk off the board to make their double blocks worse, I think having kept the Chandra seems pretty good. Inscription of Insight. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure they have Pact here and they're just going to kill the Kogla. So. That's cool. Huh. 
Oh boy. Two cards, huh? And there it is. Every fucking game. Three out of three games you've had that. Cool. lethal. Sweet. Must be nice to have Pact of Negation, plus both of your in inscriptions every single game. Yeah, thanks for the card. I will never, literally never use at any point in time. That's Keeper. They don't play anything here, I like being able to go Chandra into Maze Mind Tome next turn, which is pretty sweet. Yeah, that's actually just fine. Like, this is a lot of card advantage. I guess I have seven mana next turn. Boy, those devils are real good against my 1 1 Dragon Master outcast. Uh, yeah, let me just pass here. Oh, that's actually pretty good. swamps oh those are the Bob Ross swamps fucking incredible <laughs> hey you got a card that specifically exiles this and deals enough damage to get rid of it yeah all right cool sounds good sounds good unforgiven have a good afternoon buddy yeah Okay, that seems decent. So we got one, two, three, four, five, and then one. I mean, I kind of like Glory Bearer, kill a devil, kill Tybalt, Domri's ambush the other guy. Two, three, four, five, six. Yep. You're Elvish going Rejuvenator. Down. Uh one, two, three, then we have one, two, three again.
Does Tibble really matter? Um, I mean, like, I'd rather get it off the board. We have quite a few cards that gain us life, like Thrag Tusk or other things, I'm sure. Okay, I want to make sure we're doing this correctly. Exert. Attack Tybalt. Seems good. Um, we're just going to hit this guy. Deals the most damage. I like that we have Dragon Master Outcast in hand, but they didn't keep up a, a, a mana to cast it. It's kind of weird. <laughs> why, would, why wouldn't they do that? Fucking like the literal the best card they probably could have drawn here. What? Sure. Interesting. Now you've done it. I'm sure we're gonna sack a creature. You're gonna sack this guy. You get to draw a card at least. Oh, discard a card. Um, I think Outcast is worse when they still have a Devil on the board. <laughs> Love it. Yep. One, two, three, four, five. This is nice because we still get to draw a card. Oh yeah, we also have Maze Mind Tome, which also gain it's on board and it gains us four life. So like getting rid of Tibble seems just fine. Rankle killed this. Lava Coil killed the other guy. Sure. I am out of here. Kind of like that, actually. Yeah, we'll just draw. Oh. Yeah, let's just do that. Sure. So if we block here, they're taking out. If we block with a with a one one on here, they're taking out two Bs. And a third B from this guy. So I'm gonna block here and here. And that way they can only take out this guy or 
Like, we just get to keep a beat this way. I always have four cards in hand. That's very good. Well, you can't get anything back yet, so that's Oh, that's that's a that's a solid draw. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm not gonna risk uh Jade Light and then maybe not being able to play this. I'd rather just get this down, kill the Luris. Also next turn being able to like play Jade Light, maybe discard our hand if we hit and like draw a card here, I guess. I'm going to assume you don't have a hasty six drop. Or a six power guy, rather. <laughs> it could be a six drop, that's fine. I don't, I don't necessarily think you're going to have six power to, to hastily kill Chandra here. These lands look great. Brett, if you picked up any of the Bob Ross lands, let me know if you got any of them codes. I was actually tempted to get... <laughs> okay, that guy doesn't have haste. I was actually tempted to get an unreasonable amount of those Bob Ross lands just so I could put them in my cube. The codes are online. They're free! Okay, well, we're just keeping these guys back forever now. Oh, tree shoot boy? Library. Oh my god, I'm entering these immediately after this so they don't expire. And I'm hoping they have not expired already. I'm really excited about them. Okay, I don't want to play this guy. Did I play a land yet? No, I'll just play this. And I think we're just passing here with a million man. Oh, actually, what do we got? One, two, three. We could actually make a guy, right? One, two, three, four, five. I think I'd rather just keep a Maze Mind Tome and draw. Through December 14th. Well. What can you do? Damage can't be prevented. Sure. Are you dead here? Yeah, I mean, I'll still try, but maybe it's December 13th. Maybe it's December 14th uh, Pacific, so that's like December 17th in Mountain Standard. Sure, that's fine. That's their whole turn? Yeah, that's fine. Wow, that's so sad. It's literally one day. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, 
Interesting. Yeah, okay, so we can go land. Uh, land. We can play Tender Shoot, or we can play two, three, four, five. We can play Vivian and actually kill their Morog, which is might be better. Are we like are we one shot one two three four five? So we'd be one shy. Oh, we're also we we have not enough green for that. That's sad. All right, I'll play this guy for now, and next turn hopefully we can play a million things. They took. I feel like it's a Domri's. No, wait, did we use that? Yeah, we used Domri's ambush. Spike field hazard killing one bee, sure. We got 11 cards. We have to win with 11. Oh, that's pretty good, I guess. It does fight. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We have 10 mana. So we can use this for four, and we go down to eight mana. Then we can play this. Go up to nine mana. So it is four, five, this is six mana for creatures. We can play Kogla here. One, two, three, four, and then one, two, three. Ugh. I think it's actually just Kogla. Do we have... Yeah, I think it's just Kogla. Uh, nope. Don't do that. Two, three, four. And then do we have enough after that? One, two. No, we don't. Ugh, that's unfortunate. I don't think we actually have enough mana for Kogla and for uh, Vivian. Yep, all right, we'll play this. I've survived an apocalypse. I will survive you. With my aim and their claws, you're done. And so what do we got? One, we have uh, one, two, three, four, five. We have six mana, but we don't have triple... Uh, triple green. Oh, maybe we played this guy first? There's just a lot going on, and I'm kind of, like, not really loving that Arena's, like, hassling me while I'm tapping my mana. Turn. Sure. I feel like my token maker is a little bit on their token maker here. Well, they're at two, so I mean, probably, yeah, we could have just killed them. 
I, I find it for personally for me, it's harder for me to see the nuanced plays in the game because I feel rushed because of arena's like timer system and their, their rope system. And I also feel like if I spend too much time thinking about plays, I'm going to run out of time. So I feel like I, I, I sometimes make like the most superficial uh, decisions that I can. And I try to do the best I can in like, like I, I try to find a, a compromise between like a good play and a quick play. You know what I mean? So here I'm like, I don't want to attack with this guy because they'll block with Gonti. And I'm like, that's the end of it. Because I, if I think any harder about it, I'm just going to run out of time. You know, it's a really weird feeling. And like the pressure of like the timer and the rope is like, it's, it's, it's kind of discouraging. You killed that guy instead of the tender shoot dryad? Interesting. Alright, so again, we're gonna bring a Rex Sage for that one guy. Take a Rejuvenator. I also have a Gem Razor. I think this is actually probably fine. I actually don't love Savage Stomp as much because the fight is pretty bad because, like, two of the main creatures we saw are, like, Gonti and, um... Like, the 6-5. Or the 6-6, six, six, right? So, like, our odds of killing those creatures... are low. Um, I think it's just Gem Razor. Even if it's just, like, a 4-4, four, four, it's fine. Uh, this hand seems really good. <laughs> we'll keep this. I don't think we're in a position where we actually want to play Kazul's Fury as a land. We're going to play this on turn two. So the problem is if we don't hit a fourth land and we have to play this on... I think we're I think we're just going to play this, actually. The problem is if we don't hit a fourth land... Oh, wow. Now we can't play this guy, though. Uh, if we, we have Now we have to draw a forest. Ah. Uh. So it's, it was, it was, see, this is what I mean. Like, it was a tricky situation where, like, if I play this first, and then we play this second to play this guy, if we don't hit another land, we have to play this on turn three. Yeah. Not ideal. I guess we can just play Castle Garenbury here anyway. Next turn, we should be able to go Wolf, Wolf Willow Haven on Mountain, and then play Tangled Florahedron as well. I think that's fine. They don't have a ton of pressure here. Hmm, a little, little lurry. Play it on you. Play it on you. So now we have one, two, three, four. We have five mana for next turn. So we can actually play Chandra Kill Luris, which is pretty sweet. Uh, no blocks. Yep, that guy's fine. Oh man, they had no lands. 
Jeez. Yeah, this is just a windmill slam when they're missing land drop. And now they have two power, so, you know, Chandra's pretty good here. We can also gem raise the, the Tangled Florahedron. <laughs> Skelly and Luris, that's like wearing a belt and suspenders. <laughs> oh, man. You're funny. You're a funny guy. That's a, that's a joke. That's a good joke. Oh, you got it. Oh, blood artist? More like doo-doo artist, am I right? So I kind of like this guy in Domri Ambush here. I mean, easily kill this guy. Oh, okay. Uh, graveyard. Yeah, boy, that's what you that's what you're talking about here. Get in there, you little biscuit. I feel like this Chandra is very, very good against them. I mean, all things considered, when we have Rekindling Phoenix in hand, I'm pretty sure using the Lava Coil on Jade Light Ranger is just fine. Uh, return it to the battlefield tap. So we can go one, two, three, four. We can play Hedron Archive. Don't use the double. One, two, three, four. I have fucking mana in the pool. And it doesn't even ask me which I want to use. That shit is mind blowing to me. I mean, you probably have to go full control there, but I figured if I have five mana and I play a four mana spell, it'll ask me which mana I want to use. My bad. <laughs> That's wild, dude. Okay, you get a Lurus, and then you can get back Dusk Legion. That's good. I mean, this isn't a this isn't like the best play when I have Chandra on board, but and a four four. It was gonna use the man in the pool first. What do you mean? It, I mean, it was there was a red and a green in the pool. It used the green first. This guy's got trample, right? That's pretty sweet. I think I'm actually just gonna keep up archive and draw two. I'm gonna draw two now, actually. Because if I hit a land, I wanna be able to play it. Yep, see like that. You know what I'm talking about. <sighs> pretty sure we just I'm pretty sure this game's over, but.
Okie dokie. Yeah, I manually went for tap, 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 and tap. So I had green, 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 and a red in the pool. I went to play Hedron Archive. It used everything but one green. So it used green, 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 red. And I didn't even get to choose whether to use all four green or three green and a red. So uh, this is totally fine when I have Rekid on the Phoenix. And Glorybringer. You gotta be dead here, right? What? This is... What? They're Now they're definitely dead. What? Comes back with haste, right? So 4, 8, 12... Um... We'll let Chandra do the deed. Well, that was weird. That was a weird decision. I'm going to try to enter those Bob Ross codes. I've discovered people on Arena don't know what cards do. <laughs> well, you know what they say. Me too. Oh, a Skyclave pickaxe. All right. Let's see if I'm going to get lucky today. Probably not. Cool. I'm going to try them all because... Maybe one works? Nope. <laughs> well, that's sad. Anything good? Glass pool mimic. All right, let's see if we can two one this bad boy. I got some trail mix here. Keep. Flora, he drawn into into Chandra. Oh yeah, let's do it. To glory be? Oh, they took two. You got it. Oh, and now we're just gonna murder that thing? Oh boy. That is a that is a backbreaker right there. Interesting. Hmm. This will be easy. Boo -boo 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 I mean, we're definitely going to attack and exert here. Something was in run. Are they gonna shave it? They got plus four, plus four.
Okay. Man, that was the second inscription I faced in this draft. Well, it's more like the tenth, but the second time I faced it, rather. Hmm. I got Manasio. So, huh, one, two, three, four from Chandra. We have another land, though. Damn, I really want that tender shoot. actually really good oh man we just hit two lands off the top like we're playing friggin like we're playing friggin oracle and we'll die over here I know there's at least two I don't know if the black inscriptions in the cube as well Never actually had a... Really? And they didn't attack. And we get to play Hornet Queen. Okay, so she becomes a what? A 10-10? A They actually have to block? But then they... They block, they just get this guy back, right? Huh. Yeah, no attacks here. So another top card is this, so exile it. Oh, we get to play a Castle Garen Brig? So hold on. How does this work? One, two, one, two, three. And then we want to go so six, seven, right? Yeah, it actually doesn't matter because we have Dryad out. Um, interesting, interesting. I'm gonna graveyard it because we want to hit another land, which we kind of did. So this is only six mana. We actually can't cast Hornet Queen right now, unfortunately. Yeah, we're just gonna draw that. <laughs> then they're dead. I mean, they can activate this guy, but I mean, nothing is super exciting. These don't do anything. The best the card is Glorybringer, but it doesn't kill our dragon. Yeah, I was looking for one more land that didn't come into play untapped. So they just played that guy. Yep, Floorbringer seems fine. I'm 
sure. I mean, they can see this card on the top, right? And we're just going to fling this guy. They get to kill our Dryad, unfortunately. But, I mean, we just chump with, like, Jade Light Ranger. Sure. I mean, they're tapped out and they have no way to gain life, so... Oh, only we see it, because as long as it's your... You may look at the top card. Okay, it's not revealed. Got it. Got it. No, I, I doubt they're... I doubt they're sniping. Hmm... So they have no flying blockers and we just get to kill them with this? They don't have to see this? Alright, those are weird plays that everyone's making today. Okay, does anything look good against them? Not really. Man. Scarab God's a hell of a card. I just wanted to stop in to say that I love Lemon Tort. Okay. Cabal and I appreciate you, buddy. Like, we didn't see a ton of enchantments or artifacts either. So, I think we just submit and keep our fingers crossed. Something isn't right. Oh, baby, baby. Huh? Is Scarab got an enchantment? No, no, he's not. I'm in no way affiliated or contracted with any Lemon Tort vendors, much to your disappointment, I'm sure. I think you could be, though, you know, if you just believe in yourself. <laughs> Is Scarab got enchanting? Yeah, I think so. Oh, baby, baby, how was I supposed to know? The Michael wasn't right. I'm going to keep this because we do have a third land in Kazul's Fury. Dude, I can't, I cannot love double face cards more. I think this should be a regular staple in Magic, even though they require you either play checklist cards or opaque sleeves. I think despite those facts, I think they're still very, very good. Would Mike be an enchantment or an artifact? Probably... Probably an enchantment, maybe? Got a lot of mana here. And we do not. Mm-hmm. How many dinosaurs do you think in are, are in this cube? I know there's Thrashing Brontodon. I think that's it. Show me what you have to do with me. So we got on a seven and then we got on a six, and we can't actually hit two lands. Or else we gotta gotta pitch them. But I believe we can hit a land. Uh, graveyard. Nice. Sometimes we can play Vivian next turn, which is pretty good. Three counters. What's it going to be? On this one one? On that one. That's a very good choice. Very good, very good, sir. Okay, so now we've seen... Yeah. That's good. Well, at least we get to kill this guy next turn. And that's really the important thing, especially when they have a... Oof. I am 
Scala's vengeance, and I'm coming for you next. Get him. Uh, no attacks. Wow, that was... Well, you have four lands. Three lands, a Gonti, and a Gem Razor. Okay. Well, I would definitely put that Gem Razor on that goose. Kill my Vivian. I guess you could just attack with two 1-1s one as well. I awkwardly feel like we're very far behind right now. This card's a, a banana. That is a banana banger. Yep. Enjoy that. Okay, so look, they did the exact thing I said they'd do. That's fine. She killed a thing from it before. I need to hone my skills. Yeah, you do. You're not honing them enough, you know? Something is it. We can actually Domri's Ambush and Savage Stomp. I kind of do want to kill this. I don't think we care about the Gonti so much. Um, I mean, they do have three color permanents, so they can actually spend five and draw three next turn. Uh, no attacks. Do we play land this turn? I guess we did. Of course they hit Hornet Queen of all the cards. Well, now that we've seen Chromatic Ori, I'm pretty sure we have to... <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yep. Is this what not doing very... Virgil's Gearhook also not great when they have a Kozo of things to turn sideways and kill. Oh. Fascinating. Death touch, death touch, death touch, death touch, death touch, death touch trade <sighs> pretty sure we're gonna go to the next game here I, 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 I this is not uh, it's not a situation we can easily deal with here Elvis Rejuvenator may go I mean it's very likely that we have like a pyroclasm or like a volcanic fall or some, some similar card like that we don't but, I mean, I don't think it's out of the question to think we could. Take out Gear Hulk, bring in Gem Razor.
Yes, keep seven. Seems good. This means we can play a turn three Rada and also play a land off the top if we want to. the worst when we can draw that next turn and shoot the incubation druid that actually seems very good yeah that's fine we still get to kill the incubation druid One, two, three, four, five. Next turn we can play Hedron Archive. So it's really, it's almost impossible to play Vivian off of Hedron. I mean, like, unless you're just using one of the mana. Interesting. Oh, I am going to love tearing this place to the ground. enough to survive okay let's go combat i guess they're gonna bounce one of these oh man we have a rex age too that's pretty good It's old Black Bloom a rogue. So we can go Rex Age. Shoot, shoot. Oh, we can actually. Yeah, all right. Never mind. This is actually really good. I think. Huh. Okay. Well, that's actually fine. Anger only gets me so far. Kill this. I think we should have played... Oh, we should have played Hedron Archive first. That was terrible. Oh, God, that was so bad. But again, I was just, again, trying to play fast. I, I know it's it's a terrible excuse, but... Okay. I mean, if they have a way to steal a Planeswalker... I'd be really fascinated if they did. This looks really sweet, by the way. Alright. Uh, 
this guy costs three. But it is double green. Yeah, the, having this in play would have been so insane. There's Lay Claim, but they only have one blue right now. And also we have Gem Razor in hand, so... Plus, like, her ultimate's not that great for a random deck, so... Yeah, that guy's good. Five, six, seven, eight. So you only have three mana, you don't have enough mana to activate this turn. That seems fine. And also, like... Being able to, to shoot with... Oh, this should negative three, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six mana. We gotta go Archive Gem Razor, kill the cast out. They're also at 11. Oh, so they actually have to block here. Unless their one card is a banger. Unless they have like a three man out. Like. Mythos. Search your graveyard library for any number of red instant or sorceries. Exile them, then shuffle your library. You may cast them this turn. Add six red. The only one I can think of is Domri's Ambush, right? Like, I don't think we actually have anything great. Like, we don't have anything that can kill them. Deal them six. I mean, this is fine. They have one card that gets Scarab God back, but, like... <laughs> they are coming from Mike, you're right. Dang. So if they have land and second blue source, they do get to go Scarab God activate. I mean, how are they not dead here is the question. Okay. I believe you. Jump in the line. Um. Well. I don't need that here, but if I play Dryad, I want to be able to, uh... <laughs> Alright, see if this does it, I guess. Maybe they don't attack with a Kindling Phoenix. Just to be clear, they don't have a blue, right? One, two, three. They have three mana, no blue. Last card has to be a banger, right? Oh, what up, Skip? Hmm. 
I could see why they were reluctant to use that. Also, this is why I didn't want to plus, uh... Because as soon as I activate Vivian, they do the same thing. That'll do. <laughs> and Chandra takes it away. Uh, decline. Good game. Good game. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. If you're watching on Twitch or on YouTube, definitely consider subscribing. It's a great way to support the channel. Uh, if you have Twitch Prime, if you have Amazon Prime, you can link it to your Twitch account, get a free subscription every month. It takes about three minutes of work. And uh, it's, it's a great way to support the content you're watching. And uh, I'm here five to six days a week. So we'll definitely see each other again. Um, but be sure to check out Cool Stuff Inc. every Wednesday for new articles. Manatraders.com. They have a great subscription service. And you can use the link and promo code down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. Really appreciate the support.